Hello traders, FS Pepcolette here. Today is Wednesday, June 7th, and this is my recap of the top viewed videos of the day. And gold came in number three today, so we're going to do a quick recap from the daily down to the one hour time frame. So gold did have a pretty good push down today, one of the only dollar pairs that really did have a good push. We really haven't broken any structure to the upside yet, so we have no end of a trend yet. It kind of looks like it's just another wave in a downtrend, like a seven wave downtrend on the daily. I still want to see if it respects this level and turns back up and breaks Strutzer, showing us that we have the end of a trend for a possible wave C. So let's head down to the 4 hour time frame. 4 hour time frame, it still looks to me like a big 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now, it made another push up, and as you can see, another push down, so maybe this is still all part of that wave 5. Maybe it's going to end up doing something like this for like a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then it's going to turn up, then it's going to break structure, ending this trend, and most likely at that point, I think it will continue the uptrend. So let's head down to the 1 hour time frame. 1 hour time frame, this first push down probably is a 1. This is probably an ABC of 2. This probably is a 3. And since it's a wave 5, it's probably going to be an overlapping trend. This is probably going to be a 3. I bet it will eventually go up and make a 4 and back down for a wave 5. So it is pretty common for a wave 5 to have an overlapping trend like this. Then if we make an impulsive move up and start taking out structure along the way, that's probably going to tell me that we really do have the end of a wave C on the daily time frame and that we really are actually heading back up for the continuation of the uptrend on like the daily, weekly, and monthly time frames. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.